For this lesson, we're going to get into programming the Finch robot in Python, and specifically we're going to just work with a couple of the methods. We're going to look, work with wheels and with the LED beak glowing, and just kind of get used to starting the program using the idle environment and how we just kind of go about importing the module and everything like that. So if you haven't already started Python, get into your Python shell, and we're going to start a new project. So file, new. And this is where we're going to actually type our code. So go ahead and start with your comment. You know what your programmer, you want your name on it. And we want, of course, the assignment name. This is going to be the Finch Dance. And if you'd like to include the date, that's kind of a, be a great reminder. When you come back to it, you can see what the date is. Now the next thing we have to do is import the Finch module. And we specifically want the Finch part. So here's kind of like a little shortcut that's going to save us some typing later on. We're going to say, instead of importing the entire Finch module, we want the Finch. So from Finch, which is the module name, import, and then Finch with a capital F. So make sure you're typing it like this very specifically, and you won't have any errors. We're also going to do random, because you might want a random number, and we're going to do sleep. So from random, we're going to import random, just in case you want to use it. And from time, we're going to import sleep. So we can use these different parts of the module, and we don't have to do the whole thing with the dot notation like we have in Code Sculptor. So it's just a little bit of a shortcut. But you want to include those import statements at the top of your program. Now we're going to make the Finch dance, and we're going to do this with a variety of different kind of dance steps. So you're going to program at least three procedures that are each going to do one type of dance step. And you're going to test each dance step as you go. And we're going to do some things in the main. So let's go ahead and declare our first program. For this one, I'm going to do a twirl. Okay. And I'm going to need my finch. I'm going to call my finch bird. And then I'm going to do something with the wheels. So bird is my object, and wheels is the method. So bird.wheels is going to be my notation. And then in parentheses, I'm going to put the argument. So it's going to be the speed of my wheels, left wheel, right wheel. I'm just going to keep them the same right now, 0.5 and 0.5. And then maybe I want my beak to glow a certain color. So if I do, I'm going to use bird, LED, and then there's two different ways of doing the beak. Right now, we're going to stick with the way that we see in the program where, where it's going to be three numbers. So red, green, blue. The first number is for red and it's from 0 to 255. So if I want it to be red, I'll do 255 and then green would be 0 and blue would be 0. So you can kind of play around with those numbers. Get the color that you want. Now in order, it's going to just kind of keep going. We're going to use the sleep command where it's going to just do the wheels, do the wheels, do the wheels while the sleep goes. Okay, so I'm going to do it for one second, sleep one. And then I want to halt this just so I can kind of see what's going on. So I'm going to do bird.halt. And hopefully you saw that that was another of the methods. So that's one. Now, is it really going to twirl? Not yet. I'm going to kind of fix some things around, but I've got some basics in there. I'm going to test this. So I'm going to have my tester function. And testing is just going to do the twirl. Now I could put the halt here. Um, there's you have some kind of different some options. We're just going to try it like this. And I'm going to have my main. So I'm only going to use the test, you know, as I need it. And in my main function, I'm going to have to create my object and then call my functions. So here's where the finch thing is going to come in handy. So I'm going to call my finch bird, and it's an instance of the class. So Finch, you notice right here, is a capital. So this is the one time that you're going to use capital is with the class. So it's going to be an instance of the Finch class. Now instead of saying Finch anywhere else, I'm just going to say bird. I want to call my test function, and I must pass in my object. And... And I'm just going to have to call main, and we'll see if this works. 
Now, since I'm in Idle, it's a little bit different from Code Sculptor. When I go to run this, the first thing it's going to tell me is that I have to save it. So, in a way, this is a really nice feature. The Idle is going to ask you to save all the time. So, you're always going to be saving. You're not going to have this accident like you had in Code Sculptor sometimes where it didn't save. But here's going to be the particular part. You must save it into that Finch, Python Finch 120 folder. So I'm going to say yes. Then we have to go and find that folder. For me, I have it on a flash drive. And for you, it should be in your student account. So I'm going to go into Python, Finch Python 120, and I'm going to give it a name. So let's all call ours Finch Dance Dash Your Student Name. And then this will be ready to turn in because it will already include your name. And it will look a little different from everything else in the folder. So I'm going to save it. And notice that my colors are still here. And my robot just went. So let's just kind of see what this looks like. You see that it went forward for one second. So I can adjust the sleep if I want it to go longer, but right now it's not really twirling, is it? Because I have my wheels going the exact same speed. So you can see that right here, I have 0.5 and 0.5. My left wheel and my right wheel are going the same speed. So I'm going to make some adjustments. Let's change this wheel so it's going 0 and the other wheel is going 0.5. What do you think is going to happen? Let's test it out. So it's just turning a little bit. So I can adjust this. Maybe I want to make this one a little bit bigger. So I'm going to change it to 0.7. Let's try this. Okay, so that was a little bit better. It's not really twirling. Let's just try even one more change. Instead of zero, let's make this a negative number. Maybe negative 0.7. Let's see what happens now. So that's closer to a twirl, but it only went about part way. So I can make some more adjustments to my wheels here. Another thing I can do is change my sleep. I can have it go longer. So instead of one, let's make it two. And let's see what happens. Every time I'm going to have to go ahead and save. And if I pick up the cord, it's going to more approximate an actual twirl. getting a little bit caught up in the cord but it's making a pretty good twirl so I can keep adjusting the numbers and the sleep until I get it to twirl just the way I want. Now once you've got one function going for one type of dance step then you're going to create another one. So maybe I wanted to do like a two-step, forward, back, forward, back, you know, try and shimmy, you know, whatever. So I'm going to do a couple more functions besides twirl after I, and just test each one separately. So after I do twirl, I can change the test of the next one, change, you know, do another one. Once I have three or more functions all working with different dance steps, then in main, I'm going to put it all together. So this is where I could do maybe some kind of a loop where I want to do two twirls, three do -si dos you know, that kind of thing. So be a little bit creative in your main. And uh, instead of calling test, you can actually call the functions in the order that you want. Maybe you have some kind of an if. Maybe you use some kind of a loop. So get as creative as you can to get your finch to do a really cool dance.